Hello everyone, it's Alex. Today's topic is video. I have received some uh, requests from some users uh, regarding how to play videos with Quick and what's the best way to do that. So um, today let's cover a little bit the video possibilities inside Cor uh, Quick and of course Corona. So I have a um, few pages here in the sample project that I'm going to show you. But I'm going to start with the simplest way to add video into Quick. Okay, so I have this project here. It's a, a regular project with three pages, as you can see, and I am, I am at page one. What I'm going to see here is what uh, makes page one. Page one is basically three layers. I have this background layer here, which is a layer one. I am not exporting it as an a image, so I select the the layer replacement, come here in layer, vector replacement, and what it does is to capture the size and the color of the, the layer as well as the shape, and that's fine with that, no images are, uh, are going to be exported, just a uh, vector will, will be rendered uh, during playtime. I also have this text layer here, just showing the, um, where the, the video will play, and also I have this uh, green rectangle, and if I select this green rectangle, I can see here in the top, it is 640 pixels by 48 pixels. We have this rectangle that will act as replacement for the video. So what I have to do now is select it as I did. Come in here to the video replacement. And I did it before. And what I simply did was to point it to a video that I just create. Let me show you quickly. It's here a four second video. That's it, it's as simple as that. Nothing fancy. And so basically what I do is point to the video, set the same size uh, of the video as the, the window. Okay, in fact, Quick Red got this information from the replacement. You don't need to uh, tell quick what is the original side of the video, anything, because it will just play in this window. I'm gonna say it's an autoplay, there is no action to play when the video ends or it's not gonna loop. And one thing that I added here in, in this version 2.23, uh, it's not necessary, it's gonna work if you have well, the current version of quick, that's fine. But I just uh, add the, this, this ability because originally automatically when the video ends quick uh, was rewinding the video but for the next example sometimes it's not a good thing to do so hang on me on that so now you have the ability to say okay I'm gonna rewind at the end or not so if you do not as is quick will rewind it for you so I'm gonna create this and I'm gonna publish and I have it uh, enable image just because this text layer is going to be an image and I'm going to just export this page okay so publish all right let's go to corona hmm. I am in corona here and where's the video as you probably notes corona does not show video in the simulator it's something that you cannot do it and it says here native video objects are not supported in the simulator so you must build for device. So if you are on a Mac, all you have to do is to come here in the terminal and instead of uh, just previewing, you're going to build iOS and you can do the same if you're on, on a PC for other... Uh, uh, in fact, you cannot do this in, for Android or Kindle because only the only uh, option you have is to generate the pack the package but if you if you are on a Mac and want to to preview it you can come in the iOS or just control B command B in fact you don't need to fill out anything just instead just select instead of device just select Xcode simulator you don't need to have to create any certificate anything just select simulator and when you do that what Corona will do for you is to create a sample project that will play in the official uh, iOS simulator. Let's see how, how it's gonna work. 
you can see it's generate okay it opened this this page for me but and you see the video display okay uh, if you need to, to show this in the iPad, you have to come here in the hardware and say device, iPad, and there's a trick. It will open the iPad in this page. You have to scroll and pick your application. In our case, it's the build one, so just click build and it will render as the iPad. So again, this is the simplest way to add a video. You have the control of the size, you have everything. Just select an area and act and set video, um, uh, the video replacement. Okay, so let's go to page two, which in my example it's called page three. Okay, uh, it's named it three, but anyways, it's page two. So I am uh, in this page, and what I'm gonna do here, let me clean up this. I don't need this information so this layer here so i remove this just two layers now i have the layer one still which is this background with i define as a vector and i have the rectangle now which will act as a button okay and again i set this this as a vector and i also set this this big green button as a button and what i did here was to add an external code so if you are not familiar with uh with this information yet, Corona has two ways to render video in your project. The most precise way, which is the one that Quick automatically uh, does for you, and we use this in the first page, which is the native mode. In the native mode, you can control the video, you can pause, you can rewind, you can rotate, you can apply on different alpha settings. But uh, this is relatively new in, in Corona. But when Corona uh, started a few years ago, the only way to play a video was using uh, what they call a media library. Okay, so in this media library, what you simply can do is to tell the name of the video that you want to play and if uh, it shows or not the controls. And when the user says that and press a button, the video will leave the application play in an external window, in a full-size window in your device, okay? And when you finish it, you, you click close or done, and you go back to your application. So you don't have any controls. If you still need to do something like this, like we're gonna do now, you need to add the code manually. So come in here in code, external code, I did it for you Rad, and this is the way to do that. So it's media.playvideo, the name of the video, and true or false if you want to show or not the, the controls, okay? That's it, again, no controls. How to see that? Let's let's publish this this page. So of page one, we saw this in, this in the Xcode simulator, but in page two, you have the big button. When you click that, you see the video full screen. And when the video ends, you go back to, to your application. It's another way to do that. Let me pause here and share some things that you cannot do in any one of those libraries that I just showed. You can't have an object on top of a video. So there is no way to, for example, set a button on top of a video or have some kind of frame on top of the video. So when you show a video in a window, in a full size, video will always be on top of everything which sometimes is not what you want. Sometimes you would love to have things like, let me show you here uh, the flying books of uh, More is Less More, which is one of my top uh, apps, uh, my, my favorite apps. So in this app here, you see a merge, you are gonna see a merge of video and, and animations. So you have this, this situation, for example, where the video comes and, and rotates and after that you have buttons and let me show you the video, uh, just an example. It's a good example. We have this frame, more there's the video and after the video happens, uh, it's almost transparent for, for the user, but you can start to play with the video. One I just page. did a swipe and some some video just just turned. I mean, it it's 
it's going to be very hard to do that using Quick in Corona because Corona's limitation in, in this case of having things on top of video. But there's a there's a way to to simulate that. And the way I do, let me show you uh, the app again. Let's go to page three, which is named page two, of course. And in this case here, I set a big, in, in fact, a full size uh, rectangle, green rectangle rectangle where I'm gonna play the video so again just uh, normal uh, layer replacement video replacement same video what I did here now is to accept the full size of the screen and I'm gonna play an action when this video finishes okay so the moment the video finish I'm gonna play an action I'm gonna show you in a while I disabled the rewind at the end okay if I go back to my video here, let me go back to the video. I'm going to play it again. The last frame, when the video ends, this is the last shot of the video. Okay. So what I did, I copied this last shot of the video as a single frame in Photoshop. And what I did, I pasted it. Okay. So part of our trick is going to be when the video ends, let's hide this video and we're going to have the same last frame of the video. So for the users, for the user, it's going to be like it's just one thing. But this is a static image. So what I did was I removed the glider from the, the frame. OK, and I create just a very small glider here. And I select the glider and then apply a linear animation to the glider. So I'm going to move the glider a little bit in the direction of the clouds here. So again, I'm going to simulate that the user is, is still in the video, but now the glider is moving and the, and the, the user will be even able to drag the, the, the glider around. This I just add this drag here just to play with. Okay. And the action. It's, in fact, it's very simple. It's, uh, it's a two action, two interactions action. The first one is we are going to uh, hide the video, the layer video, okay, zero in zero seconds. So this way, at the end of the video, the video will be hidden. And also, we are going to play the animation. As simple as that. And let's publish it and see how it will work in the Xcode simulator, as you can remember, we need the Xcode simulator. Okay, back in Corona, I'm gonna press Command B, play a build again for the simulator. The iPad, the iPhone will appear. It's not the one that we want. So let's click here. Hardware device, iPad, and go back to page two. Build. So this is page one. This is page two. We don't need this again. The big button. So this is the way the user will see the real iPad. So it's done. But when I go to page three, pay attention to the main screen as well as the glider at the end because it will be very uh, seamless the movement so let's move to page three the video is playing you see the glider fly in the back and it stopped it and the glider continued to 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 fly and again it's an, an object on top of everything so this is the, this this is the way we trick the system Okay, we use the last frame that we want for, for the video in bright and high resolution, of course, and we, we build things on top of it, buttons on top of which it's now an image, not a video anymore. So this is the way to do that. Uh, again, you cannot have this 100% uh, the, the same effects of uh, more or less more, for example, but with this kind of trick we can do some interest uh, interesting thing for sure uh, using just quick and no code at all so to the next tutorial next week take care bye bye